Hello Leo and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading for March to April 2024 for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So let's see what we have for our lovely Leos. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. First card is called Stability. And we have Entertainer. Your financial future promises to be stable and prosperous. Take control of your finances to create stability in your life. Excellent time to take action on any money-related ventures. So we have stability. What brings you stability? We have entertainer. Put yourself out there and bring out the best in you so you can get noticed. You could be drawn to careers in theatre, dancing, music or any type of entertainment. Is there a talent you could turn into money? Time to think outside the box. Let's see what we have for you, Leo. I'm going to pull you an energy card. What do we have for Leo? March to April, please. Angel Spirits Guides in Money, Career, Finances. Two cards. We have number 44, Woman Holding a Heart. Male or female, because it's a general reading. Someone is, is connected to your heart in some way. This could also be you. Self-love, doing what you love. This can be the energy. And we have number 21, strategy. Strategy is all about a plan. Generally in terms of where am I now and where do I want to be, you know? Let's pull you a fortune cookie. What do we have for Leo? Thank you. Message for Leo. Money, career, finances, angel spirits, cards that flew out. Assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is right for soulmate connections, birth of a child also likely. You know, as a general energy, it's about assertion. Assert yourself. Time to take action. Be assertive. Let's see what we have, Leo. What do we have for Leo? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Leo. March to April 2024. Money, career, finances. Thank you. We have the Seven of Swords. Very nice. We have the Empress. Five of Cups. We have the Four of Wands. The Hermit. King of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, we've got the Knight of Pentacles here. Oh my, you know, one of my favourite cards is the Six of Swords because the Six of Swords always represents the worst is behind you and you're moving forward to better times. It can actually be about moving from A to B, which is what I was talking about before. Setting a strategy, where am I now and where do I want to be? Well, <laughs> and... We're doing it quietly you know the seven of swords can be uh doing something quietly uh sometimes we act in a secret manner because it serves us this can be that kind of uh, strategy energy as well this can be about putting some kind of secret plan into action but keeping your cards close to your chest to leo not telling anybody and that will be the advice as well you know, this is just about, you know, doing something covertly because it serves you. A lot of the time, this can be here because we don't want to let our current place, you know, know what we're doing. So this can be that kind of energy here. And the Hermit and the Empress can also be quite, uh, quite strategic as well because the Hermit and the Empress... 
This is about shining the light within, letting wisdom be your guide in guiding you in terms of how you move forward to create something new, to create new abundance. This is deep down, I know I need to move in this direction. The Empress can represent new abundance. Uh, very positive in terms of uh, money areas, the Empress. So it looks like new money is available to you. Job, business opportunity, um, the creation of something new as well. Could be creating your own business. Um, but this is about deep down, I know this is what I need to do. Deep down, I know this is um, how I need to move forward. And it just feels like... There is a new abundant path that you're aligning to here, that you're feeling is the right path for you. And generally with this energy, we also feel that sense of, of value, appreciation, bounty with the Empress. The King of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles can be dealing with, with loss. Um, it can also be, you know, here Leo, so if there's a potential of, of loss in your current circumstances, this is what do I need to do to move on from what was to what will be? Because again, King of Pentacles can be financial stability and security. Um, but it can, it can also be here, Leo, um, sometimes for our own financial stability and security, to manifest money like the King of Pentacles does, um, to be successful, uh, could even be to advance in your career if change doesn't happen in your current circumstances. The Five of Cups can just be, I'm going to really miss my current place of work. I'm going to miss the people. I'm going to miss the things that I'm going to miss. But I know it's time to let that go in order to embrace something else. So this can be that kind of scenario here, Leo. Um, however that manifests for you, it's either dealing with some kind of loss or recognizing that loss is happening. Um even recognizing even that your own business isn't working, that would be the energy as well. Five of, pen, five of cups can also be, I'm letting something go. I'm, I'm letting, you know, there's, I'm recognizing or accepting that something is ending or has to end uh, because I need to protect my financial stability and security and manifest a direction that will bring that in. So it can sometimes be a little bit bittersweet depending on what your circumstances are either missing a place, uh, but knowing it's time to move forward in a different direction, or knowing that there's going to be loss. Sometimes there's notice periods here. Um, but it can also be your own business. I know I have to end this in order to maybe get a job, move in a different direction. This will be the energy here. It's all about making wise choices and decisions in terms of aligning with a new abundant path. So how will that manifest for you? The Six of Swords, like I said, represents it can be about putting troubles behind you, putting difficulty behind you. It can also be for those of you where there's internal energy going on and you might be missing something, you might be missing, but you're missing your current place of work, but you know it's the, you're moving in the right direction. It can be about putting um, conflict, inner conflict behind you and, and being resolved to move in that direction as well. So either way, you're detaching from a situation that no longer serves you and you know deep down making wise choices and decisions or acting in a in a real kind of like um, enlightened energy to move towards new abundance because the knight of pentacles i mean these are lovely the knight of pentacles and the four of wands this can be very positive in terms of new job new business opportunity new career path i mean the knight of pentacles brings an offer you know offers you something uh, very good in terms of someone making you an offer, job, business opportunity, contract, it's abundant energy. But it generally brings that sense of a change in your stability and security as well and your abundance. There's a kind of accepting of letting go of your current circumstances here for whatever reason in order to make way for change to come into your life. And that, ch and that involves making wise choices and decisions to ring in the changes here, Leo, that will bring you a change, a change in your abundance and stability and security as well. This is what I'm seeing here. The woman holding the heart, you could be, again, it, it could be emotional. I mean, you know, especially if you like your current place of work, but it's not for you anymore for whatever reason or changes are happening or it's 
you know, could be within the company itself, could be within your role, could be, you know, a number of reasons. Um, but it can also be if you're going through troubles of some kind and you're making some wise choices and decisions here, the woman holding the heart could also be somebody supporting you on your path as well. I think the entertainer energy is promoting yourself, um, getting noticed and recognised for what you do and you're doing that secretly. This is a secret plan, but it, it's fruitful. It brings in some kind of offer and that's the energy here. Because it's all about protecting your stability and security. So let's pull you an Angel and Ancestors Oracle card. What do we have for Leo? Thank you. Money, career, finances. Message for Leo. Thank you. Let me just grab the deck. There we have it. Okay, Leo, we have Spirit Fox. Trust your talents in changing times. I mean, that's perfect for this reading. You know, trust your talents in changing times. So the message is, stay alert as change is in the air. The energies around you are changing at this time. And although it may not always be comfortable, you are equipped with all that you need to survive this shift. You are being presented with opportunities to, to reach spaces you've never encountered before. And this can make you feel on edge, but be open to the shifts occurring because they really are the answers to your prayers. The experience of being hunted or threatened is now behind you and you are being invited to come out from your den and reveal your glory and talents. Call upon Spirit Fox Medicine to help you be seen for who you are and trust in your talents in order to be the best you can be in these changing times. There is an energy here, Leo. Uh, the, the Six of Wands, Six of Swords, I should say, can be about moving from A to B. Um, and this is a card of change and transition. But a six always represents that sense of harmony and equilibrium or getting that back not just physically and practically, knowing that you're heading in the right direction here, but also in your own energy, mentally, you know, energetically, feeling that sense of release. Um, it's very positive in that respect as well. Um, but yeah, it can also link with, you know, like I said, it can be, this feels like changing jobs or, you know, changing, moving from A to B, whatever that would be. It can be involved in moving or relocating home as well with the four of ones being here as part of that process. Um, but I, I just feel that this is, there's always a feeling here as we move from choppy waters to calmer waters, there's a feeling the best is yet to come. You're absolutely heading in the right direction and it feels like some kind of secret plan is bringing in uh, the right change for you. That's what I have for you, Leo, for... March to April 2024. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful uh, next couple of months. I will see you next time.